Port Townsend is a small city on the northeastern tip of the Olympic Peninsula of the Puget Sound. It was the home to the Clallam tribe and other smaller groups before settlers arriving in 1851 when it became Puget Sound's customs port of entry. Over 300 Victorian-style homes were built in the 1800s when it was nicknamed City of Dreams and speculated to become the largest harbor on the west coast of the United States. Now it is a popular tourist destination best known for its Victorian architecture and natural beauty. It took me about two hours to reach Port Townsend from Seattle. I boarded the 1125 AM ferry to Bainbridge Island where I disembarked and drove a little over an hour before arriving. I arrived in Port Townsend absolutely starving, so I immediately went to Bayview Restaurant, which I had already looked up and the reviews looked fantastic. I ordered the fried oysters and enjoyed a locally brewed IPA and finished up with a freshly baked strawberry rhubarb pie. Everything was absolutely delicious, and even though the day was cloudy and pretty cold, the view from Port Townsend did not disappoint. After finishing up my lunch, I drove downtown and began walking up Water Street, which is the main street in downtown Port Townsend, to check out a few shops. It was getting late in the day, so I decided to make my way to Port Wilson and Port Warden Historical State Park. Fort Warden Historical State Park is situated on 433 acres with over two miles of saltwater coastline. I spent most of my time near Port Wilson and enjoying the beach and lighthouse views. My trip to Port Townsend, Washington was very short, but it was so much fun to just get out of the city for a bit. If you are looking for a fun and relaxing day or overnight trip, I highly recommend. I hope you enjoyed following along today and I'll see you next time.